Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We're back. We are. We're back. It's me again. And me. And Joe again. And Georgia. <laughs> we always say it's round about 11 o'clock, don't we? It seems yeah. to be a rush in the morning. It is. <laughs> but thank you very much if you are joining us this morning. Who is going to be the first person to comment, I wonder? Because I've got my iPad. So all your comments and all your questions are entered into our prize draw today and we're going to announce it at the end, so make sure that you stay tuned. Lucianne, quick as fingers first this morning. Wow. Morning, ladies. Quick. Lauren Sharp says good morning. Morning. We should do what we did one in the afternoon yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. It was a sneak peek. Nobody knew we were going to do it. We just whooshed on. So I whooshed around I the whooshed store. on. We were set a little challenge by our friends at Casato. All the retailers got an hour to go live. Yeah. So what did we do? We went live, because we like going live. Yeah. It's better than sat, but And you had a good run around the store. I did, but I was really, really <laughs> tired. So did you catch us yesterday afternoon? We're going to be doing all kinds of things just to catch you unawares. Let's see who's joining us this morning. Shelley Sutherland, good morning. Jacqueline and Amy and Jade and Shantice and Ania, I hope I said your name correctly. Laura and Kimberly and James and Lucia and Tracy this morning. Wow. And some more wonderful. joining us. If you've hit share already, you know we're going to ask you to hit share because sharing is yeah. caring. Let's tell you about our prize what today. What could it be? What could it be? If they've read, if they've read the yeah, at the top of my post, <laughs> they'll know anyway. So Shelley Sutherland saw me running around the store. Yep. I was a little bit out of breath, <laughs> Shelley. Uh, definitely need to get fitter. Even my husband commented that I looked out of breath, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe January diet, get fit. Just keep running around the store, Joe. You'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit warmer than outside. Yeah. So today we're going to be talking about travelling with your little one, whether it's a newborn, whether it's a baby, or perhaps into those toddler years, because some of you might be lucky enough to be travelling a little bit further afield over the Christmas break. Yeah. We're not. <laughs> no. We're having a day out at the beach. Oh, lovely. A day out at the beach um, to socially wave at my parents. Yeah. But we're not staying with them, which we would do normally. So I'm feeling a little bit sad this yeah. Christmas. But we have got all the little bits that you may probably need if you are going to see family or... And even relatives. if you're planning for Easter. Yeah. You know, when hopefully we might be a bit more back to normal. Hopefully this will help you. So today we've got an amazing prize modelled by the one and only baby David, <laughs> who is making a reappearance on yeah. our live. Those of you who join us regularly know that David likes to crop up on our lives. He's always a very happy chappy. Hello. Yeah. Very, very advanced three years. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and he is modelling the Grubs Up um, high chair, travel high chair from our friends at Casato. Now we've got it here in the Strictly Avocado. I'm going to move perhaps our. Oh, look, it's, 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 it's great, our cameraman. Yeah, we do have to do it. All nooks and crannies to show you the prize. Oh, look at him in there. He looks so he happy. He does look so cute, doesn't he? And it, quiet. And quite realistic. It's almost. the perfect travel high chair, you see. Yeah. So we've got it here in Avocado. It's available in two of the colours, isn't yep. it? So which designs is it also available in? It's a, you're going to get me on that one, aren't I you? I am, I am. It is available if I grab the box. Grab the boxes, that's a good idea. I'll grab one, you grab so one. You can see a little bit of the design in there. So this one here is the Unicorn Land. Um, if you have seen the Dolls Push Chair, it's the same sort of design as ah. that. Um, so really, really cute um, design there. And then Joe has got here Dragon Kingdom. we've got Kingdom. Dragon Kingdom. So it's available in three designs and our winner can choose today whether they yeah. would like Strictly Avocado as modelled by Baby David, Dragon Kingdom as modelled by myself or Unicorn Land un uh, modelled by me. <laughs> so which would you go for? Yeah. Which would you go for? Now it's a really, really clever um, high chair it's here. It's so lightweight. It um, folds really small. You can see a picture of it folded. Yeah. Basically what happens is the, the stands almost that attach onto your table almost fold within and then the material squishes down. So it is very, very compact. And it's very lightweight, and it's going to last a little one until they are around about 15 kilograms, yeah. isn't it? It's a, yeah, it's a longer lasting, especially for what it, what it is and what it does. It's so easy just to move, travel about with. And I've used a similar thing. And I have to say, and the thing that lots of parents say is, oh, is it going to fall off? Is it going to fall off? Yeah. Well, no, it's not because it actually works on a cantilever. So you, you, you um, clamp it onto your table. Obviously not uh, Ikea Calax because that's not <laughs> very stable. That's the most thing but we've got But you clamp it on and then it acts as a cantilever. So yeah. actually it can't come off. So don't worry. 
worry about it, but I know that people do. But it's got, do. still got a lot of padding in there. It's still a nice, comfortable, um, like almost, yeah, well, look, a baby, high chair. He looks so David happy in there. Happy. Yeah, just, well, you don't need a better effort. Look. No, still got his five-point harness there to keep the one secure. And I, do, I love the avocado design. Oh, I like the avocado design. It's just a little it's, bit it's different. It's a bit different, isn't it? So let's have a look what people are saying about our prize today. They are on offer on the website. They've got £10 off as well, a little Christmas offer for you. Yep. Instead of 69 They are now 59 So absolute bargain as well. But you might win one. All you need to do is ask us some questions, join in with our chat. Yep. So Shannon says, morning ladies, love your lives while on mat leave, waiting for little one to arrive. Come on, little one, we're waiting. <laughs> Mummy's waiting for you. Yes, yeah, so are we, so are we. Um, oh, Tracy Higgs says, oh, baby David. Um, Shannon, oh, Shannon back again. She's adding her comments in, but she wants to win. I love these seats. We bought one from you when my for my first when you first opened oh two years ago wow see we're getting second babies coming through the yeah, store that's now lovely, isn't it? you know we really are um our baby david is just it's, getting it's a lot of the love show. <laughs> yeah should we go home i love baby david says joe meekin i mean only a mother can love this face he's a little bit freaky but he does he's very realistic isn't he compared he is, to some of those look at his eyelashes he has amazing eyelashes, but we're not giving him away. We are giving away the Casato Grubs Up <laughs> Travel High Chair. It's a travel high chair without Shanty's <laughs> Avocado. Yep. Jane says, do you sell baby Davids in the shop? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, no. It would scare all your children. Uh, Jade Elizabeth, Dino, Dino Land, uh, Dragon. Dragon's Kingdom. Yeah. So you've got Dragon's Kingdom. You've got Unicorn Land and Strictly Avocado. Oh, no. So I wonder which people would choose. Lucy Ann's going for Unicorn. Let us know which one's your favourite design. Shannon, Dino Land, Tracy's Avocado. Shanti says you could use it in restaurants. Yes, you can. You just can't use it on glass tables, but pretty much they're yeah. very, very universal. So they're getting a lot of love this morning. Um, Lucy Ann says, does it have to be on a solid table? You can't use it on glass. Um, but yes, so you need a solid table. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't be able to use it on a plastic picnic table or anything like this. But great to have a grandparent's house, great to throw in the car. And during COVID, yeah. you probably want your child in their own environment yeah, it's as always, well. Even if you say, if like when we're allowed, most people, well, some people are, still yeah. to restaurants and things. We can't. Keep it in, no, we can't. <laughs> um, but if you keep it in your boot of car, because it is so compact. Um, you can always, you've always got it then, haven't you? Yeah, and I always worry in restaurants because children do chew on yeah. the straps, don't they? And I don't really want my child chewing on the straps that another child's been chewing on. I'm, I'm sure your children are lovely, but let's just stick to chewing our own straps. Especially with everything at the minute, it's just that, it's just a reassurance, isn't it? It you, is. You've got it, it's... So it's, it's an amazing travel product. It's the Casato Grubs Up, available in three designs, and we're giving one away. All you need to do is join in, the, join in with a chin wag this yeah. morning Send and we will draw comments. our winner at the end, so stay tuned. And share. Share, share. as well. Sharing is caring. We like a share. We do like a share. So if you've shared, let me know because then we can actually say thank you to you as well. Yeah. So travel high chairs, this is one option that we've got. Another option doesn't fold down but is very, very simple to use yeah. is the safety first option. £15. Such... It, it's so good for what you're getting with it. So it comes in different colours, doesn't it? You've got lots of different colour options. Blue, pinks, I believe a green, a yellow, I think. Or, yeah, or grey. Uh, grey, grey. grey. Um, but yeah, it, what it essentially does is attaches onto your dining chair. Or your office chair. Or an office chair like we have. We didn't have a dining chair, so we no. put it on an office chair. So as you see... <laughs> Spin your child around. <laughs> Again, no, maybe not. Whee! Yeah, let's not do that. Sorry, baby David. Um, but yes, you've got your strap that goes all around the back to keep the booster seat as flush back to the seat. And then underneath, you've got um, just the strap just to keep it secure down. And then, as I say, it's so easy then to, to just to change yeah, on any chair. It's got your little rubber feet as well, so yeah. it doesn't move. And then your three-point harness. Now, if they do say it's suitable from six months. I'd probably recommend sort of seven, eight months when they've got a yeah. bit more core stability for that. Um, yeah. Just because you've not got the shoulder straps, which you have with something like this. Yeah. But for £15, you know, it's a great it's really it's a easy um it's plastic easy clean. to wipe yeah to clean 
Um, and just again, a great one if um, you are going to, um, little one's going to obviously grandparents or you're going to mum and dad. £15, pounds, just leave it at grandparents. Just, yeah, just can, leave it there. They can check it in the cupboard when It's not too big it. and bulky, so it's not too hard to pop it, just pop away in the cupboard. And you can use it if you're suddenly in the garden having a picnic, yeah. not in December, I would suggest. But <laughs> if you're having a picnic in the summer, again, it's a little chair. Yeah. A little chair for a little one to watch television. Yeah. You know, a bit of in the night garden. It doesn't have bed. to just be for um, meal times. So £15, we think, an absolute bargain. Yep. We've got one more travel high chair to show you today. Just down here. <laughs> Hide in. I'm going, where is it? Where is, is it? Is it there? <laughs> we haven't actually got it out today, um, but it is the pocket snack. I'm going to let you hold it because I can't hold it. Which, again, is a folding high chair, and again, it attaches to your chair. If I just um, turn it round here, you can see it's got a shoulder strap on this, and you can just see how small that is going to fold. And if I turn it onto the back, you can see you can attach it to your chair or you can, again, have it on the floor on the little legs. And I like that. Yeah. I like that. Great for camping, yeah. caravanning, things like that. Suitable from six months um, and it goes up to 15 kg. So yeah. again, long lasting, um, long lasting straps there and seat. It hasn't got the five point harness. The Casato one is the one that has got the fibre harness. It's kind of the all singing, all dancing one, yeah. isn't it, today? But this one has got the little tray, which is really nice, actually. They've got that little yeah. space just in front of them. Or, obviously, you can completely remove the tray to then have little ones sat at the table. So it depends, you know, what you're doing, yeah. how old your little one is, to what's going to work really well for you. So we've looked at that. And those of you who've just joined us, thank you very much for joining us. We're giving away a Grubs Up Casato in your choice of colours. There's three designs. We've got Strictly Avocado, we've got Dragon's Kingdom, and we've got Unicorn Land. I keep yeah. wanting to say Fairy Garden and Unicorn Land. Yeah. Casato has so many different designs, it's very confusing sometimes. <laughs> so you can choose which colour you would yeah. like. Um, so all you need to do is join in with the Chimwag this morning. So thank you very much if you have. If you've shared, um, if you shared, thumbs up, thank you very much. Angela Conduit says she wouldn't use it on the floor, the base isn't wild enough to stop the child from tipping over. I've used um, the pocket snack on the floor and not had any problems with it at all. Um, but obviously your children are different and if you do find your child is yeah. pushing themselves over, move well, them backwards, perhaps sit them with their back against the settee, yeah. you know, or if you're outside against a tree trunk or just in front of your legs just yeah. to make sure we keep or them Or just nice use it, say, if, you, if it's something you just want to necessarily use just on your dining chair, you can just use it on there. Emma Louise Roland Shrub says, is the prize the hanging chair thing? <laughs> By hanging chair the thing? floating chair. <laughs> do you mean the magic chair over here, the grubs up, the Casato grubs up? Yes, it is, which is a great prize this morning. Yeah, travel high chair attaches onto your table. And we think everybody will be able to use one of those. So, let's have a look what else we've got when you are travelling. Should we start with sleep? Sleep's an yeah. important thing when you're travelling. You want your little one to sleep. You do. <laughs> one of the things we always recommend if you are travelling, wherever you're going, is to take your own sheets. Yeah. Preferably ones that baby or toddler has slept in the night before because then the smell of them is just like home. And when you do go somewhere else, you find yourself, don't you? You don't always yeah. fall to sleep quite yeah. as easily. Different sounds. I'm, I'm always somebody who has to take my own pillows and like... Just cause I'm just, it's just something you're used to. My 14-year-old likes to take his double quilt everywhere. Yeah. It's a good job we have a big car, is all I say. <laughs> quilt, Take the pillows. whole place back up. Yeah, my husband takes his own pillows as yeah. well when we go places. So some, sometimes it's just familiar, 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 familiarity. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously for babies, it's... it's doubly important, Yeah, it's doubly it? important. They, the, the sensory, the smells, uh, the feel of things. Um, so it's really important. The little things, like I say, like your sheets... Um, just to mention as well, we didn't, I didn't grab the um, carry cot, but if, depending oh. on which push chair it is, um, your carry cot may be approved for occasional overnight sleeping. Yeah. Which always check, is. always check if it is first. Or um, ask us. Or ask us, yeah. Say, um, but say some are approved for those occasional overnight sleeping, which is great because if you are just going away for a few nights or, or one or two nights, you can just kind of take that with you. Again, smells like baby, baby's used to that space. Yeah. Um, some um, brands do make their own carry cut stands, so for example, Silver Cross. So you can obviously have it on the stand there as well. Um, just something quite nice to have, rather than say you you bought. Uh, the travel cuts are nice if you're in that first six months. Yeah. If you've got Please, your yeah, use it. Yeah. Definitely, use it. definitely use it. And also, if you're short of space in your car, you can always use it as your suitcase. Pack yeah. all your clothes in it. 
Baby's used to the smell of yourselves and used to the smell of your laundry yeah. powder. And as George has just said, we really want baby to sleep if you go away. Yeah. The other thing is worth taking with you that smells of home and things like your muslins. Yeah. Again, they're often snuggly. So if baby has a comforter or something that they used to, take that or a particular blanket yeah. they like. Again, we would always say, don't just wash it to go on holiday. Let them have it the night before. Hopefully they're not sick on it. And then wash it when you get back. <laughs> yeah, and then wash it when you get back. So it's got all those familiar smells. Yeah. The same with bedding. Yeah. If they're used to sleeping in a sleeping bag, don't suddenly put them under sheets when you go away because they're not going to yeah. be used to it. You know, lots of people go, oh, well, we'll buy something new. Or we'll keep some at grandparents, which is good. But if you are just going, say, for one, one or two nights, you just take the ones you've got and baby. Yeah, or have them. the same at grandparents. Yeah. So then they're used to it. So yeah. that's just our little tip. And that's through learning and going away and realising that baby doesn't sleep. So <laughs> there is no magic cure. There really is no magic cure. But the more familiarity you can take yeah, the away, the more you, you can better. do to make it a bit more of a um, comfortable space for babies. Better. Do you want a blanket? I do. I love this blanket. I know. We have to get this blanket in a lot. I've got all this blanket to get. Yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of Christmassy and wintry, isn't it? So and it's, it's just it's surprisingly how, like... It, it's, it's like how thick it is. It's a bit it's like just... a weighted blanket, I always yeah. think. It is lovely. So this is part of our busy growing range. We've got loads and loads of blankets. And our muslin here, ooh, I've just thrown on the floor, is part of our pure flow range. Yep. And it's humongous. You can get it in a multi-pack as well. Yeah, it's huge. comes in a pack of two. I'm just going to hide behind it. <laughs> it <laughs> Let's go. I know. It's great if they are used to, you can wrap it round a travel cot if you're using someone else's travel cot. You know, again, keeping those familiar smells. You might use these to swaddle baby. You yeah. can use them as a cover for breastfeeding. You can lay them on the settee or on the floor just to yeah. protect them in case baby's sick. You can use so, them for so many things, can't you? I definitely think these are a definite must-have. And I love the elephant design. Yeah. Elephants are Elephants cool. are very in. Elephants are very, very in. Designs. in. We've talked about them quite a lot. Um, again, going from um, to sleep, as you can see, we have got two travel cots um, up. Um, one of this one here is the Joy Cubby. Um, it's the Cubby Sleep. As you can see, we have got it in the um, what am I trying to say? The oh, newborn, right, newborn, newborn position. position. That's the one. Newborn position. So as you can see, we have got a little baby in there, a little ergo baby. Um, she's um, in there, but you can also take zip that layer out, and you have then got a playpen. So you can drop it down. So when little one gets older, yeah. they're going to sleep further down. Obviously, you're not going to have all the boxes in your cot. You're not going to have all the boxes no. in front of your cot. But also, you can unzip. When you've got this bit at the bottom, you can also uh, unzip. Oh, it's actually on the other side, isn't it? There's a zip on the other side, yeah. which means that you can open the side up and it can be a nice little playpen for little one as well whilst you're away. Yeah, you can have it pushed right up to your um, bed and you have got... Your two buttons that just allows you to lower the side. side so it's kind of very different to most it's kind of an all-rounder isn't, isn't it yeah it's, it's a bit of everything folds really um compact and small and you kind of what happens is you then use your mattress and kind of wrap the mattress all the way around everything so it keeps it nice and tight and neat and they both come with travel bags yeah so you can zip them in their travel so bags we've, and off. we've got out today we've got um the joy cubby could we sleep yeah could we sleep, sleep? And we have got the Maxi Cozy Iris over here, which works in a very similar way in that you've got it up high. And then when baby gets older, you can drop it all the way down to yeah. the floor. Um, we've got lots of travel carts by Joy, Joy and Maxi Cozy. Yeah. Um, and our travel cot starts at £60. So if you need a travel cot, do get in touch. Yeah. Um, and we will be able to help you. Yeah. So your travel cots really are going to go up until, because they're on the ground, yeah. older. So it'll be nine kilograms in the top position. And then they go onto the ground. And it's until they start climbing out, yeah. really. And then you need to move them into a bed. Once it becomes dangerous, you need to move them into the bed. Yeah. So the other thing I'd recommend if you're going away and you are taking a travel cot is to let little ones sleep in it for a few yeah. nights before you go away. So they're in their bedroom, perhaps but let them sleep in it to try and get used to it or have it downstairs for daytime naps just for a little bit of time. Yeah. And then when you go away, hopefully again, familiarise the sound and it's the feel of it. It's not just a different space that they're not, they've never been in before, um, which is really nice. Again, little things you can kind of, again, make it something familiar if they do have a mobile over their cot bed or um, bedside crib. 
if it can be, most can obviously be taken off and com made really compact, take it with you. It's really, really handy. We again have got our tiny love out. Yeah, we get getting our tiny love. Take along mobile, don't we? It just, it, it's so easy to just move over. You can just um, tighten it up onto any size, but then you've got, it's just really nice because you get the mobile, and it does, it's, it's got nice bright colours. It's familiar colors. sounds, isn't it, as yeah. well, if they're used to using it. Don't buy all new for going away. No. Just get them used to using it before you go away. What you, use what you can, what you have at home, and um, that baby's obviously used to. Really, really handy, because it does all completely detach off as well. So for the car, or for uh, if you're just going out for the day, you can always take that with you as well. So Becky Louise says the Maxi Cozy one doesn't look very big. These are more compact travel cots. We also have full-size yeah. travel cots, but for a lot of people, actually, if you think about the length of that, you've got to be a very, very long child to be longer than that one. Yeah. But they are more compact, which makes them smaller in your car, and it also makes um, them easier to fit into a room. Because often if you're going away, the rooms are a lot smaller, yeah. aren't they? And you probably want them in with you. Yeah. Um, so we've got... Um, uh, Kimberly says, my son likes the snooze cloud. Yes, if you've got something they're used to, take it away, yeah. take it away. And that's really thank nice because it velcros on, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, thank you to those people who've just joined us. Today we are giving away our Cassato Grubs Up. You've got a choice of colours. There's three options for you. And all you need to do is join in with our chat. And if you've hit share, we love you even more. So and thank you you've, very you've much. Shared and, and then I'll be able to say thank you, you see. Yeah, and get your comments in. If you've got any questions about anything you see um, as well. So another thing lots of people will have maybe downstairs on the sofa are things like the nests. This is yep. a pure flow nest here. Um, these are for supervised sleep, yep. okay? So these shouldn't be used in your cot overnight, but you can use them, for example, if the little one's having a little nap on the sofa with you and you're sat next to them. I yep. had one that was on the sofa. Um, it's lovely and breathable All by way pure the back. flow and it will just stop them rolling over. So again, I yeah. used to take this, because we used to use it on the sofa at home. Yeah. If I was at my mum's house, I used to take it with me, because again, baby's used to the smell of it. Yeah, it comes in lots of different designs. Um, we have also got, I'll grab that one. Oh, we've got the giraffe out today. I'm gonna try not to knock anything over. <laughs> You're yeah, doing well. Yeah, we've also got the um, giraffe design as well. So lots of different designs, you probably can tell. Thank you for sharing, Shanties. So these are for supervised overnight sleeping, yeah. not for leaving baby in your Suitable cot. from birth, but I say just supervised sleeping. We also do have the larger size yeah, as well. Yeah, the maxi toddler size as the well. maxi toddler size. Um, again, same, same designs, lots of different options to choose from. So if it's something um, you want to, again, take away with you, because like you say, if you keep your bag, you can put it away nice and compact. You can can't if you? you keep your bag. Just remember to keep your bag. Yeah. Lots of people asking about prices. We'll add some links to the website for you uh, shortly. So, but I found those really, really yeah. useful. So, oh, oh and zips off. Sorry, the cover oh, zip completely it. zips off the washing. So, let's have a look at other things that are going to help little ones sleep in their bed. We've got our Z. Yeah. Lots of people know about Z. If you join us, you'll know that we like Z. We do. So, Z is really, really clever. The way that Z works is you can sit him on your mattress yep. and you sit it well away from baby, but it does have that gentle vibration and it's designed to be a little bit like the car moving. Yeah. And babies often sleep in the car. It's quite clever as well because it does have an automatic, um, after an hour it shuts off, it completely turns off. So, it's not a case of having to go in once baby's asleep and sneak in and try and not wake little one up. Um, it does turn off after an hour. It has got, I believe, 10 vibration modes. And then it's got the three different lights as well. But yeah, you would essentially have it on your mattress and it kind of gives that motion, slight vibration for baby um, in there. So if you're using that again in your he, cot bed. He's got a bit of a full cot there. Obviously, an empty cot is a safe cot. Yeah. But he's got rather a lot in there, but it's just for the purpose to show you. Yeah. You've also got, if baby's used to a particular night light, um, again, a little bit like the mobile. Again, it's about that familiarity. We have got um, our Sound Asleep, which is by Tiny Love. And yeah. we've also got our Ladybird by Cloud B. Yeah. So both similar type of thing. They do a projection onto the ceiling, so a little one can yeah. watch them. Um, so this one you can do in various colours. This one is more you're all singing or dancing yeah. one, isn't it? And it's new, brand new. It's not been out very long. No. 
So as you see on the back here, you've got all your different controls. I really, really like um, it has rechargeable batteries. So you do get your charger with it. So you charge it up um, and it's ready to go. And you have... Yeah, just pl plugs into your USB port. I'm trying to think if I can get that on. <laughs> Will you share it on George's tummy? I don't know what else to put it on. I know, well, we've got we've got the bright lights in the studio here, so it doesn't really yeah. show. You're going to have to trust us here, but it is a beautiful night scene. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a lot bigger onto your ceiling yeah. as opposed to... I've got it quite close, tummy. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Just to show it, you. Oh, it does show on the wall a little oh, bit. Oh, look. Yeah, it shows a little bit, doesn't it? It shows up on the camera. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it's showing up on the camera. I love the way that he actually matches the background, look. He matches yeah. our push Joe expert green. He does. He also plays a whole host of music. He does. Um, and he has... If I, can, if I can get it on the camera. And Nia has said, have we got the humming bears? Yes, we have my humming. We've just had a big delivery of my humming. Sorry. Yeah, my heart is heart. beating over here, Joe. <laughs> your heart's getting exciting. <laughs> but yes, you have got lots of different sounds. Oh. I think that's doing? our rainforest. Yeah. But it also has timer settings on the back. So you have a 10, 30 and 60 minute timer. So again, it's not a case of having to sneak in. You and can turn it off, you can set your timer. And yeah. the music's really nice And as look well. how cute he is. He is just gorgeous. I think I would quite liked one. Yeah. We so everybody it. is loving that. Shanti says so she loves it. Ingibur, Ingibur, oh, please tell me how you say that. Please, can you ring me and let me know how you say your name? Because I always say it wrong. She loves the night lights. She could do with one herself. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're loving the fact it's rechargeable. Um, Megan loves the fact it's got a timer on it. So, yeah. yeah, really, really useful just to get in and out. And if baby's used to using this at home, take it away yeah. with you. Yeah, and you've got your little lights at the front as well. But obviously, our studio lights are very bright, so obviously it would be a bit more... <laughs> a little bit more intense, but yeah. sorry, little hedgehog, you're kind of it's so cute. Bit stuck under the, under the bright lights. So thank you very much for sharing this morning. All your comments and all your questions are entered into our draw to win our Casato Grubs Up Travel High Chair, which the lovely David is modelling for me today. Look, and he's waving at you. He's incredibly happy and incredibly hungry, waiting patiently for his food. That he's not getting today. No. You want a diet, David? Sorry. You um. You want to eat air diet. today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want an air diet? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. So give us a thumbs up if you would like to win our prize today. Send us a heart if you have shared, because sharing is caring. Yeah. I'm going to see which will pop up. Are we going to get more thumbs up or more hearts? I think we're going to get more thumbs up. There are some kind people who share, though. Yeah. There are some kind people. Tag a friend. Tag yeah. Tag a friend in. Yeah. We've got some amazing prizes. I'll let you into a little secret to make sure you stay joined as well. One day this week, we're giving away a pushchair. Are you going to give away what pushchair? No. Oh. No, I might tell you tomorrow to so make sure you do. <laughs> hey, we've got hearts, we've got thumbs oh, up. Oh, good. We've got smiley faces. David would be more realistic if he was crying, says Jade. He doesn't cry, he's my child. Our children are so happy. Yeah. yeah. They yes. never cry. So well behaved. Look. They never, they, they never. They never misbehave. They're no, just, they're, they're so always easy. when you leave them. They crawl yeah. off. No, no. You anything. can just leave them somewhere. They just stay. No, <laughs> no tantrums or anything. No, no timeouts for you, David. No, you're good. You're all right, David. You're a good old kid. Yeah. So, uh, um, uh, who can turn their nose up at a free push chair? Yes, it's not just a. It is a. It's a very popular travel one. system, isn't it? It is a pram. Then, obviously, with your seat unit as well, and it's really cool. Isn't it? Yeah. New to market this year. So it's relatively new, push yep. chair. But I'm not going to tell you anymore. And it gets a lot of attention when it's in the store. It so does. Especially your guesses this in. design. What, could it be? what do you think it'd be? What push chair would you love to win this week? Yeah. Would it make your Christmas if you won a push chair? I wonder chair? if anyone can guess what it, if, if would it, it make your one. Christmas if you won a grubs up? And what are we going what day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> so we've got three more prizes this week and then three next week. Yeah. Okay, so some good prizes coming up. So yeah. can you guess what push chair it is? We've just got to wait for your comments to come through because they're a little bit after hours, but I'll come back to them. Yeah. So let's have a look at, what do you want to look at next? Should we have a look at our travel bag? Yeah. So, so maybe if you are travelling abroad. <laughs> you lucky people. You lucky people. This is the baby style stroller car seat travel bag. It's not just for baby style push chairs. Um, there are others that can fit in here too. Again, if you want 
Um, if you're not sure, just give us a message and we can check for you. It has got like a backpack design, which is really clever. So if you are getting you've got your hands full in the airport, you've got that on your back. Just easy to and go. And it keeps it nice and clean as well. Yeah, I think keeps that's it, the big thing. Yeah, it keeps everything again all in one place. You can almost pack that way. And write, I know I've got everything in there that I need. It's, you can zip it away and it's all ready to go. Um, oh, they're, all, they're all trying to guess here. Nobody's guessed yet. Nobody's guessed. What are some of the guesses? Yeah, yeah. I'm not telling. No, not they're telling not me. guessed yet. Nope, nope, nope. She's nope, not giving nope. anything away. Are you, Joe? No, I'm not. I'm not. You don't want to go. see. <laughs> no, don't you dare tell them. Otherwise, you'd be in deep, deep, doo doo. <laughs> so, travel bags really important if you are travelling by plane. But also, yeah. the other thing that's great for them is if baby's outgrown their car seat or their push chair to put them in a travel bag to keep it nice and dust free. Yep. Ready for baby number two. Yep. Or three or four or five or six. How many children have you got? Yeah. Let us know. I am one of six. One of six. Your mum deserves a medal. She does. But luckily she they're not all like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> are they worse? Mm, some are, some aren't. It depends. That was they <laughs> Don't mention any names. Six, yeah, one of six. One of six. I'm oh, one of two, but I have three children. Yeah. So yeah. But I love I I must admit I did love growing up in a big family. Nice. But yeah, some of the little things again for travel wise, these are yeah. for the car. Um, this is the safety first back seat car mirror again. Just, just great to have on the headrest there at the back so you can see your little one um, while obviously you're in the front. <clears throat> it's really, really easy to attach on. Shant, on. Sorry, Shant, she's, she's out. She's out. I've done you. Oh, gosh. She's one of ten. One of ten? One wow. of ten. Your mum. Was there many it? falling outs? Because I had a lot of falling outs growing Did up. Did you? Yeah. We're all, always bicker. We're all two years apart. So we're all very close in age. Yeah, no, I, I, I just, hats off, hats off to anybody who can parent what, one or more children, yeah. you know, they're all tricky, they're all tricky. Amy's got four children, wow, Megan is one of three, she's got one of her, one herself, oh my goodness, we've got lots of children, Chantice is the youngest as well, oh. I bet she gets spoiled, babe. so I've got a younger sister then, it's me, so. does your youngest get spoiled? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Is she watching? <laughs> Don't know, are you? <laughs> Don't know. Let us know if you are watching. So, let's have a look at some more of our travel products. Remember, if you've joined us today, we're giving away our Casato Grubs Up yep. high chair, travel high chair, because we're talking about travelling, just in case any of you are going away over the Christmas holidays. If you've hit share, let us know. Sharing is caring, and we really appreciate it. Yeah. Right, back to Safety First. We've done a quite big on Safety yeah. First recently because it's a brand not many people know, but it's a good, but it's, solid... It's good staples that you need yeah. at such a good price as well, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't say they do the most exciting packaging. No, no, it's a, they are standard, just standard black. Um, you know, but they kind of, they're cheap. Yeah. No, cheap's not the right word. Good value for money. Yeah. And they do what you need them to yeah. do. Like, for example, the backseat organiser, nine ninety nine. And that's going to last. You don't have to just necessarily use it when your children are young. You can always, I mean, I could probably do it with that. <laughs> <laughs> we can all organise our cars. Like we, somebody said yesterday, they use it for their rubbish. Yep. You don't have to just use it how it's shown here. Look, you with can... your, look, look, the pen's all neatly put. Yeah. Look, how neat and tidy is that? My, my backseat organiser would be like rammed in but here. a little snack at the bottom. Ooh. Snack, there wouldn't be any that's snacks. That's what I would do. <laughs> no, no, the children would have eaten the snacks. <laughs> in my car, I would put snacks. But yeah, you can, really, really great. Just a, a, essentials, really, if you are just travelling. So Shelley says, is the mirror for rear-facing car seats? Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And it doesn't just have to be your infant carrier. No. It can be your next stage seats, because as lots of you know, it's best for us to keep our little ones rear-facing for as long as possible. It's just that reassurance, especially if it's first baby. You just know yeah. that you can see your yeah. little one. And when the little one gets older, they can also... Yeah. see in other positions as well they so tend mirrors to are great mirrors are great because they're on a lot of toys and things now aren't they so it's great if they're sat in the car they can entertain themselves <laughs> <laughs> who needs a babysitter no Just a mirror that's all you need they can look they can at themselves pull, pull faces at themselves you know look at themselves just look them. again hanging toys near them yeah. as well they can kick them in the car and just keep them self-entertained especially if some children just don't necessarily like being in there in the car in the car seat. Chloe says snacks are important. They are. They are very important. They're an essential. They are. If you join us regularly, you'll know that we quite like our And then food. you can use the other pocket as the bin. We've got flapjacks in the office yeah, this morning. Yeah, shortbread. 
A shortbread? No, it's a oh, millionaire. millionaire shortbread. Yeah, millionaire so, shortbread. Yes, it is shortbread. So flapjacks and millionaire shortbread. And um, cake. There's some cakes now. Are there some cakes? Yeah, Joe didn't know about the cake. What, cake? I nearly ate cake. I'm out of here. <laughs> Do you think there'll be any left when we come off? I don't know. Who bought um, cake? Shannon's got cake. She kept those secret. No, she just a... snuck them out. I was like, where's she, the cake come she from? She didn't take them out while I was filming this morning because she knew I was stuck in the studio <laughs> filming. Maybe, Joe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. So, the other thing that is really useful when you are away is baby carriers. Yeah. So, whether you're going away in the UK, whether you're going away and you need to go on a plane or a ferry or something like that, baby carriers are incredibly useful. Yeah. Lots of people get a little bit scared of baby carriers um, and baby carrying, but there is no need to. They are a lot more simple than you think. Yeah. And once you've got the hang of it, you're only usually going to be using one. Now, we have a qualified baby wearing consultant in store. Um, as well as our baby wearing experts. I'm gonna bring it forward. You're gonna bring it forward. You're brave. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Don't drop it, Jordan. Don't drop it. <coughs> Excuse me, you're making me laugh. <coughs> you weren't expecting that, was you, Joe? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Um, and now I don't cough. <laughs> I'm like, <clears throat> just, yeah. Anyway, our baby carriers are great. We've got all kinds of brands. We've got Ergo Baby, yeah. which is incredibly popular. And we've got the Embrace here. And as I say, we do have our baby wearing consultant in stall. She's on a wobble. She's on a wobble. She is. You don't wobble like this when you're wearing a baby carrier. But <laughs> the embrace is very, very simple to use. You've got your little clips here. It is very, very soft. So lots of our new parents are loving that. It's perfect, so yeah. It's perfect. We do all the Ergo baby range and we do all the close parents range. All the Ismi range and also the hippie chick hip seat. Yeah. So lots and lots of baby wearing. If you are worried about baby wearing or not sure whether you've got it on correctly, you can always send us a photograph or a video and our consultant can have a look yeah. and help you out. There are lots of videos available online. So we would always recommend that if you are nearby and you want us to check your baby carrier, Please yeah. do come in because we are more than happy to do or that for you. if it's the first baby and you're not sure which sort of, because there mm. are different carriers, you're not sure which one you would necessarily want or use for your lifestyle, again, um, obviously you can come into store um, or if you've got a message, um, send us a message, we can help that We've way. We've got well. a lot of baby wearing love going on here. Yeah. So give us a heart if you love baby wearing. I must admit, mm. I do. I have been seen to wear them and have dolls in. You were on Saturday, weren't you? Wandering around the store yeah. with a doll. And I was like, I guess like take it off, we've got Christmas. Like, <laughs> no, I'm promoting, you know, and I've got that. I've got this nice little bag. I didn't want to take it off. I didn't no, take they the are off. absolutely it's lovely. Really, really nice, yeah. And these ones are really, really soft too, which is nice. So different people, somebody said, what's the best carrier? Sorry, I've lost your comment. It's gone up the screen. The best carrier is the carrier that suits you. Yeah. Um, and that's why we'd always recommend that you come in and try them. Try yeah. them. Um, if you can't come in and try them, there are your local sling libraries as well. Yeah. They are very, very helpful um, with that as well. So uh, baby wearing questions. Just let me have a look. Um, Stacy Louise has said how much of these. Stacey will add some links because yeah. I'm not sure which one you are, this are referring to. This one I believe to. is 79.99, but um, yeah, we'll link any of the other ones. And we always price match, so do get in touch because we're always the best yeah. price. So Kira Bland says, love carriers, they're a must have. Expecting baby number two next year, so we'll be needing one again. Congratulations, Kira. Yeah. And perfect, so if you are going um, to, family, to your family for Christmas, um, a lot of people do go on those like Christmas Day or Boxing Day walks, don't they? Yes. Perfect to just have that with you, especially if you've just had a baby. Um, you can obviously have that with you. Great for those walks. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing here. Not laughing, You're not laughing at, at you. Me. No. Amy Watley says, my one-year-old thinks it's snack time whenever she hears you, Joe, because I'm always snacking while watching your videos. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put me on rerun. When you need a little one to eat, just put me on rerun yeah. and they'll say, oh, snack time. Do you want to watch Joe? It's snack time. <laughs> Laura Ford said, I never had a, ca a carrier with my first. I didn't trust them. I got one with my second and love it. Yeah, lots of, yeah. again, lots of people are unsure. They are really, really safe. People worry about falling over, but think about it. How many times over the last 12 months have you actually fallen over? And you also, your reflex and your natural instinct, yeah, to put you more. very rarely would fall over forwards and you would always put your arms out. But because you've got baby, your centre of gravity, you do move yourself back a little bit. Yeah. 
Um, so, but that is as again, it's a normal instinct, isn't it? It is really when normal with, with baby carrying. Is to feel like you're going to either drop baby or it's not safe. Um, but so yeah, it's it's completely we normal. We put the carriers like on and we're like jiggling up and down like yeah. mad women because baby is really really safe. Yeah. And often if you're not comfortable with your carriers because you've not got it fitted quite correctly. So even if you didn't buy a carrier from us, you didn't buy your carrier from us. Why not? But no, I, I just, I just. And you're finding it uncomfortable. It doesn't matter what brand it is. Send us some photographs or videos on Facebook and we can have a look. It might just be a little alteration is going to yeah. make it more comfortable It could be something so simple um, yeah. just to make it a bit easier. So carriers are great if you Should are travelling. Move, move on. There you go, baby da, 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 da. She's a little bit wobbly. I think she's been on the mulled wine. There we go. So other things that people often take away with them is a rocker or a bouncer. Just yep. because if you're at somebody else's house, it's where do you put baby? You know, you can have them in your arms all the time, but where do you put baby? Often it needs to be somewhere that they are familiar. So we've just grabbed a few. We have a whole host of rockers and bouncers in store. And there is a reason behind why these are the three that Georgia has grabbed today. Yeah, I would say... I would, they're I'm different, having, aren't they? Yeah, three very different, but three of the most compact um, ones. They, I say, when you're travelling, you don't want necessarily something that's too big and bulky um, to take with you. But, but, yeah, really, really great. All have different kind of features on them as well. So, as you can see here, your, um, the, the rocker on this one, underneath the material, you have got... Um, if I can put... Oh, I didn't know you put batteries in that. Yeah. It's got vibration as well. A bit hard to show one, coming. Just going to have to trust us on this one. And you've just got different sounds as well. And obviously you can make them loud. And again, if you use it at home, baby knows where they are. Yeah. Thank you for all these comments, everybody. They are awesome. Lots of questions coming through, so I'm going to answer those for you in a moment. Yeah. If you've asked us a question, you are already entered into our draw to win a Casato Grubs Up Travel High Chair, because today we are talking about travelling, because some of you might be lucky enough to be travelling over the Christmas period, or beginning to plan maybe Easter holidays or yeah. February half term. So we're looking at our bouncers, because often people will take their bouncer with them just because then whenever they arrive at Granny's house, yeah. they've got somewhere to put baby. This one's really nice. You've got your toy bar that you can take off as well, um, but it's just really nice. Um, and it can, again, just took out the way. Obviously, when you're folding it, it can completely come out the way. Now, you can either rock this one or you can put a little yeah. stand at the back to so stop it you. rocking. So I, you can obviously get, say, rock it. Or at the back, if I pop your stand up, it will then just keep it nice so and quite still. good for weaning as well yeah. so if you've got a little one is beginning to eat and you need you haven't got room for maybe you travel high chair or no high chair wherever you go it's quite upright isn't it you've Which got nice. that nice option as well and then you have got your recline at the back as well so this is the joy dreamy, dreamy, rocker. Rocker. dreamy, yeah, dreamy rocker. rocker yeah um you've then got your maxi cozy is it Cor corey that's it yeah um, different design, isn't it? It's, it is. It's uh, obviously matches obviously the theme with the maxi cozy. Maxi cozy home range is lovely. Yeah. Or you've got all your inserts that can be taken out to be washed. Um, it's just really, really nice, soft, good quality material. And the bag, it hasn't got any of the vibrations or the sounds in it. It's more of like a standard yep. um, bouncer. But it's, again, can completely unzip the whole material. And then at the back... It does have a nice recline on it as well, though, yeah. doesn't it? A really, really nice recline on it, which is quite nice. So, again, it's about keeping baby in the surroundings that they are used to. Um, Amy said she loves Joy products. Yeah, we've got loads of Joy products, whether it's push chairs, yeah. whether it's bouncers, whether it's um, your travel carts, yeah. uh, cosy toes, car seats. What else did Joy do? I can't even think... They, 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 yeah, strollers, well, yeah. lots and lots. So let's have a look. So we've looked at the Joy. We've got Maxi Cozy. We've also got Kiko in yeah. store. We've got Mamas and Papas. Uh, and the other bouncers. My brain. We have a Cybex one. A we Cybex. Have... Loads and loads of bouncers. So we've also brought out the Tutti Bambini one yeah. because the Tutti Bambini one is very clever. Yeah. It will go on the top of their high chair, their Nova high chair, yeah. to allow you to have baby with you. But for a compact stroller to take away, yeah. you can't beat it really, can no, you? No, it is very, very compact. Um, like I say, you can have it on the floor as we've got it here. 
um, as your rocker, but it does also go on to the Nova High Chair. Um, so this allow, that then allows you to use the Nova High Chair from birth. This will last from birth to roughly around nine kilograms, so around six months um, we would recommend for this. But I wanted to show you just how compact this is. Baby, you're coming out. Can we hold baby? There's your baby. Hello, baby. So what you get with the Tutti Bambini, with the high chair and the newborn rocker... I just is... realised I'm rocking like a mad <laughs> you do. lady. Every time you naturally, you just uh, always rock with it, don't you? Rocking like a mad lady. And look, when you've had more than one child, you can multitask, you, you know. Yeah, you can. Do other things. It comes with a travel bag, which is really, really handy. And that's both on the rocker and on the high chair. Um, and all you simply need to do is just take off the stands you see here. It will literally take you a couple of minutes. I don't even think it'll take you a couple of minutes. Well... I think no. Uh, no. I think I think it'll take you literally a few seconds. You say that, Joe. You're going to jinx me now. Oh no, I'm going to jinx her here. I'm going to jinx her. But it's really, really clever, the Nova. Really, really clever. So you just pop those all off, and then what you do, it folds in half, and then you can just store it all away in your little travel bag. Look at that. And it's going to stay nice and clean in your car. Yeah. So even if you're travelling with a dog in the boot, dusty, muddy wellies at this time of year, it's going to stay nice and clean. So we like this. I think it's a very, very clever system. But even if you don't want the high chair, how small is that bouncer to take away with you? Yeah, it's so compact. Um, I'm going to put baby So yeah, say, say for example you have it at home with your high chair. You can um, take that away with you. You can just take this away with you because it does come in individual bags and it, again, just works really, really easy. And so, it's just so, so light and so easy to take with you. Um, that's probably the most compact one I've, I've seen. It, I, I haven't seen a smaller. Tiny Love do a very small one. Yeah. It's long and thin. We don't have that out in store, but I used to take that in the caravan with me. So they do a small one. Yeah. But generally, your footprint is the size of your chair. Yeah. So very, very clever. So, um, uh, Emma says she had a terrible back ever since having a daughter, so she's not sure if one of these would aggravate you. Emma, if you are local, come in and let's have a look. It depends what is, you know, what is wrong with your back, yeah. um, and there's different carriers that may work better for you. But obviously, if you do struggle with a really, really bad back, baby carrying may not be for you. So we also need to use some common sense there. So, everybody's loving the rocker. Shantice loves how small it folds away. That's so handy. Yeah. Kira Bland says, wow, so easy. See, you made it look easy. I did make it look easy. But that's because it is, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Tutti Bambini is so clever. Yeah. Uh, they didn't say Georgia's so clever. Just Tutti Bambini is so clever. Sorry, Georgia. Amazing. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let Chloe. last bit. <laughs> Anya says, perfect for travelling. That's because we're doing all about travelling today, yeah. you see. Amazing, perfect for trips to grandparents, says Sammy. Yeah. Pavlina says it's so good. Alex Bushby needs one. Well, they're available on the website, yeah. Alex, so pop over and have a look. Everybody is loving how compact it is. Yeah, and I say it's not even just necessarily for just travelling. Perfect for travelling, obviously, but after the six months, it's so tiny. You can just yeah. store it away whether you have a second child or an, just another child. You've got it ready. It's got its own bag, so it's protected. Um, you don't have to necessarily find something to put it in. Shelley says um, that it looks low and um, quite small and the legs dangling over, would that make that uh, baby's legs hit the floor as they grow? Well, obviously, it is a more compact yeah. version, so it doesn't, it's not as spacious, but you do have the benefit that you can fold it away to travel yeah. with. And obviously, if you're using it on your high chair, it doesn't matter if baby's no. legs are over the edge. So, so it's, it's specifically designed more to go onto the high chair and yeah. um, to use it from birth because obviously now high chairs are going a lot more from birth. And actually, even if their legs are out, as they get older, they like to just rock yeah. themselves slightly so it won't uh, impinge on how long you can no. use it. But it is more compact than some of them. Yeah. But that comes with pros, of course. Yeah. So let's have a look what should we have a look at now somebody wrote the joy one so dreamy i've just scrolled past that I, that's why it's called the dreamy rocker the dreamy rocker <laughs> the dreamy rocker i think the last thing we've got oh we've got our other carrier oh yeah <laughs> just Whoops. a big carrier in the room how do we move that how do we lose that so this is one of our carriers for your older children it's one of our structured carriers here it's the parade by phil and ted's um which is 
really good if you are i've got an older child dad seemed to like these yeah i don't know they feel they're a bit more masculine than like the wraps and the soft carriers um but one of the nice things with this one is as you can see when you take baby out or toddler you're right there yeah look he's <laughs> fine he's happy you can stand it up which means when you're fastening them in it's really easy yeah. or if you're on a bit of a mountaineering walk pop them down it obviously won't have to be quite so floppy sit up sit up child behave yourself behave yourself you can you know they can have a little snack in there they've got little pockets at the yeah. side to keep things in you know you can make these tighter depending on the age of your child so they're suitable from round about six months again i think for these carriers they're better when they're a little bit older yeah and your parade has a little bag on the back here so you can keep your belongings in there and it's a rucksack so if they have their toys in there, when they get out and have a little toddle, they can carry those on their back and be a little bit like mum or dad. Yeah. You've also got your pocket at the bottom to pack your picnic or your hot soup, <laughs> whether like this. Yeah. But really, really handy, isn't it? Yeah. So really, really, really handy. So that's the parade. We've also got Tula in store as well, who also do a big structured carrier for yeah. your mountaineering. There we yeah. go, we put you in pride of place because we didn't mean to miss you out. Look. No, sorry. You get jealous that we've had focus on baby David. We've this got morning. a lot of babies in the room today. Yeah. yeah. We're surrounded by them. And um, just the last little thing I wanted to just show was just some little little toys and little rattles and things that you may have, say, hanging um, or you use around the house. Again, take just them, take with, them you. with you. Take them with you. Like you say, if you are taking your curry cots and um, you can just pack all those little things away inside the curry cart, you know you've got them. But it's something they are used to um, and it's just great just to bring along with you. These are obviously, these are just the mamas and papas. They're spiral the toy spirals, spirals, aren't yeah. they? Um, and we have the two colours here. But they, you've got your skip hot toys, you've got some more different options for mamas and papas. Um, but yeah, any, any toy that you, you have, that is, some children especially have a specific toy that they gr like gravitate to, towards, take it with you. Definitely take it with you. Now, just somebody said, do these get heavy? Okay, yep, yeah, but you have got your extra support here that goes around your yeah. hips and very, very big padded straps with your chest support here. A so lot of support. It's it supported takes straps. a lot of the weight away from your shoulders um, and around your hips. It's yeah. a little bit like giving little one a piggyback, but you've got some extra support. Yeah. Oh, they, look, everybody loves a baby David. Chloe Acton says, so, so cute. She's talking. Do you think she's talking about this one? Um, I'm not. I'm not so sure. Do you not think he's cute? Mm. You're not. You're it's, not. No. no. No, he's not that cute, is he? He has got lockdown haircut. Yeah, it's the haircut. I think for me. And his little button nose. I think he's quite cute. Yeah. No. Scary, maybe. Uh, it's cute. Going on the side of creepy. <laughs> yeah, scary. creepy. We'll go. We'll we'll go with creepy. So today we are giving away I'm not baby show David. The side of it. Oh, I wonder what you were doing. <laughs> I'm just rearranging doing? everything. <laughs> What's she doing? Obviously, wouldn't your table wouldn't move like this? But it's just so I can show you. A and you wouldn't angle. put it on a Calax no. <laughs> thing. You put it on a real table. Imagine dining table here. Yeah, imagine this is our Go dining table. David. But I don't know if you can see no, here. You look at the camera. Hello, I'm fine. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Poor David. He needs a Christmas hat. He has got very, very cute eyes. Like so. J Jade says that um, our friend Chucky here, we call him Chucky, looks like a cabbage patch kid. He, he does, yeah. yeah. He does, yeah. Yeah, baby David's winning, I think. Baby David, you're still in the show, baby. Oh. Shanty saw him in the Look corner of the baby screen. Oh, no, <laughs> baby in here's got things on top of him and everything. Oh, it's a good job we don't work with real children, isn't it? <laughs> Social services would be down like a shot. Yeah. Chloe Acton says his lockdown haircut looks great. Yeah, see? Yeah. See? Yeah, I could, we could take up hairdressing in our spare time. Maybe not. No. Anyway, let's have a look at this because we're going to show you the sign. Jade's changed her mind. She says she quite likes the avocados. Yes, when you say, see the word avocados and you think, really? Yeah, you have to actually see it. To but it. they're happy avocados. Yeah, they've got little faces, look. <laughs> they're happy avocados. Happy everybody, dancing avo avocados. Everybody needs a happy avocado in their life. Yeah. But you see, it attaches on and what you do is you just tighten it up onto your table under here. Make sure it's super, super tight. Um, and then, obviously, it's all attached, ready to go. Well spotted. Jade says, is there other eggs on there as well? Yeah, a little egg here. Look. Yeah, there are eggs on there. I keep doing this. <laughs> all right, David. Brushing his fake hair. Oh, I know why it's called Dave.
baby David. He's got, got his tattooed on his neck. He's got David tattooed yeah. on his neck. He's a very forward-thinking baby. David. Look, look, he's called David. That's why he's called we David. We haven't just made that up. <laughs> he, is, he is called David. Poor David, I'm not stretching your neck about. But yeah. You're um, not complaining. You're all right, Georgia. No, no, we're all good. You have got a little pocket in the back. Um, so if you want to keep baby wipes, anything like that, while you're on the go, you've always got them because you'll always need them. <laughs> Always need them. Always I'll need put them. This one up here. Again, this is a Casato Grubs Up, and it comes in three different designs. Strictly avocado. You've got your Unicorn Land and your Dragon Dragon, dragon, dragon Kingdom. I want to call it oh, dragon. sorry, cameraman. I want to call oh, it. You need to keep up. You see, I was like, woo. I want to call it Dragon Garden. <laughs> you can't call it Dragon the Garden. <laughs> dragon Kingdom. Dragon Kingdom. It's got a little cute li uh, lion. Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Dragons. So I wonder what people go for. So today we're giving one of these away. All you need to have done is to join in with our chit chat yep. today. Um, Shanti says David's a little bit young for a tattoo. Yep, we would agree. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend no, it. No, we wouldn't recommend one, but... He you know, already came tattooed. So yeah, we, we adopted him. Yeah. He came ta with a tattoo. So yeah. sorry, David. Sorry. But he's happy, look. Look at that happy face. Yeah, look. He's absolutely happy. Pocket is great. People are saying they keep their bibs in there. Yeah. Baby wipes in there. All kinds of things. Kira says she's interested in the maximum weight. It's 15 kilograms. 15 kilograms, yeah. Lots of people worry about these. Once, once you understand, you don't. So because it goes under as a clamp, it acts as a cantilever. So you see... Yeah. That's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. So they are really, really safe. Obviously, you can't use them on a glass table. Megan Brothwell, no, sorry, Jolene Jojo Stanley. Sorry, Megan Brothwell. I'll come back to you. I know you love the dragons. But Jolene says, can we show them how it folds? How it folds? Right, David, you've got to come out. Come on, David. Out you come. So you've got your five-point harness, and it is adjustable. So if yeah. you have a chubbier child than David or a more petite child than David, I love it. Everybody's going to know that we have a child called David. Come on, David, out you come. You've eaten enough today. Poor Ian's enough. so realistic. It's, it's just cute. Look. Underneath. Are you watching, David? Yeah, are you watching this, David? Underneath here, you have almost want to just untighten the points here. Oh, my God, I can't work out if I'm going the right way. Levi says, how do you enter the competition? Levi, you've already entered. All you need to do is join us for our live. Stay tuned and we'll draw the winner at the end. All you need to have done is to ask us some questions and past comment and generally join in with the chinwag. So we do this every day, Levi. If you're late to the party, yeah. welcome. We're doing this every day, uh, every weekday, that is, all the way up until the 23rd of December. And then we will be back on the 4th of January. Each of our lives, we give away a prize. And it's always the same method of entering. And we always draw the winner. Live, yep. live on the live. Live on the live. Live on the live. So make sure you set a reminder. It's round about 11 o'clock between Christmas and New Year. We may do some impromptu lives. So make sure you've got your notifications on and that you're following Pushchair Expert. Yeah. So what I've just done is untighten the, the screw there. And then what will happen is it, then the clamps will just come out like so. That doesn't... Ah, you see, you're going to show the trick now. Yeah. I love the fact it says on the front, clever stuff for happy babies. Clever stuff for happy babies. And then they just then tuck within. And you've got under here, you've got your bag. Hiding away. Sorry, okay. David. I'm going to put you down, David, because you're getting a bit heavy. It's all the time you've spent in a high chair munching. <laughs> there you go. Sit in there. So, yeah. Your then material then will squish all the way down. And you get your travel bag. It matches, of course. You would expect nothing less from our no. friends at Casato. And you would never expect a grey high chair, would you? No. Or a black high chair. They've always got fun, blue. bright patterns, haven't they? And this they? is our Strictly Avocado, which is incredibly popular, especially when yeah. people have actually seen it physically in store. Yeah. But yeah so it's all fully really great wipeable. For travel. And it all comes off as well. So it all tucks, with our, tucks off um, so you can um, take it off and as it well. And it comes... If you register your guarantee, make sure you always register your guarantee, whether it's Casato yep. or anyone else, you get a four-year guarantee. The nice thing about Casato is they give you cards in all their products, which tells you on the back how to register your guarantee. Yep. If you're not sure and you've bought anything from us, do get in touch. It'll be in your instructions or on their websites, but get in touch. We're quite happy just to point you in the right direction. Yeah. So Grubs Up, they're loving it. They are absolutely loving it. They love the bag. 
I think they're loving the design, especially now they've seen it a little bit closer. Yeah. Our avocado one. I'm not sure. It, when, yeah, well, to be honest, when I first like, You just mm. read the words avocado and you're like, yeah, avocado, avocado, what a avocado, high chair. Yeah. But he's but. like the cutest avocado yeah. in the world. I mean, look, I at think it. look at him. He's the cutest avocado in the and world. Egg. Who knew egg could be cute? I know. I know. And obviously they're eating, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah. But there are three designs, and our winner will have the choice of uh, designs today. So we're giving you the choice. So, should we draw our winner? Yeah. Should we draw our winner? So if Who's you don't join be? us usually, what we do is we're going to draw our winner live. I'm going to scroll up and down, and then we get somebody, the, our cameraman or yeah. Georgia, to shout stop. And whoever it stops on is our winner. Yeah. It's open to anybody in the UK, and we will pop it on the courier today, Tuesday, and it'll be with you tomorrow, Wednesday. Yeah. So, and we love a photograph, so if you've got a little one to pop in it, make sure you take a photograph so we can so share it on see, our social yeah, media. Yeah, we like to see the prize We shared venues. a baby jogger. We gave away a baby jogger, yeah. City Elite 2. Make sure we get the Really, two. really, really good prize. Though. It was an amazing prize um, a couple of weeks ago, and we've got some lovely pictures yeah. of that little one. I think we, um, we shared them on our social media yeah. platform yesterday. So if you do win, we would absolutely love a prize. It's great to see them in action. Yeah. So. Who's going to pick? You can pick today. I can pick today. Okay. Right. So I'm not going to start at the bottom necessarily. Right. Um, I'm going to say go. I'm not going to start there. I'm going to say go and you can tell me when to stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go. Is she going to keep him waiting? Stop. So our winner today is Kira Bland. So, Kira, well I am writing congratulations on there. Well done, Kira. We hope you get a lot of use. Yeah, send us from, a message um, yeah. with your details and then obviously what design. Yeah, we need to know. Is she going to go for avocado? She's still there. Kira, if you're still there, let us know. I avocado, think... is she going to go for unicorn land or is she going to go for dragon's kingdom? I'm trying to see on her profile picture whether I can guess whether she's got it. <laughs> she's there with a the little one. Do you think it's a little girl or a little boy? I can't see. No, it's so small, isn't it? It's too small. I need a magnifying glass. But yeah, you, uh, get, send us a message with which one you would like. And it'll go all the way to 15 kilograms. So yep. until your little one probably doesn't need a high chair yep. again. So or let us know. Or a gift for somebody, if, you, if someone in your family's just had a baby as well. Yeah, or? absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Loads of people saying congratulations at the end to our absolutely. winner today, which is really, really yeah. lovely. Now, tomorrow, we will be back tomorrow. I'm going to say we are going to be here around about half past 11 tomorrow. The reason being is it's Wednesday. Yeah. And we've got we need to lie in. Yeah. No, we haven't. I'm going to be really honest with you. Tomorrow, we're doing our Secret Santa. So yeah. we're going to push back live to half past 11, just to give us a little bit more time to have... Um, we're yeah. going to have a bit of fun with our Secret yeah, we Santa, are, aren't, aren't we? we? I don't think everybody knows exactly what we're doing, do they? No. No, it's, it's a secret. We really have a secret. secret, special Secret Santa. <laughs> yes. So we will let you know how it goes tomorrow. Are you doing a Secret Santa at work? Let us know. Yeah. So half past 11 tomorrow... And we've got an amazing prize, which we'll announce later for you. But thank you for joining us today. Make sure you stay safe, everybody. Yeah. And hope your Christmas shopping is going well and all your wrapping. I did some wrapping yesterday. Oh, did you? I, I felt guilty. <laughs> you made me feel really guilty, so I did some wrapping. Oh, good. Oh, look, Kira Bland said thank you. What? What? Hang on. What, did, what design are you going to have, like, Kira? We can't leave it. We're not going to leave it here, Kira. We need to know. Are you going to go avocado? Unicorn or dragon? Which is she going to do? Which is she going to do? There's still people with us. Come on, Kira, don't leave us waiting here. <laughs> so, uh, oh, we've got to wait for her. Chloe says, enjoy your secret Santa. Have you bought your secret Santa? I bit? have. It's wrapped. Of course. of course. It's wrapped and ready to go. I bought mine, but I might go and get something else. Oh, you can had mine. Well, I've had a better idea. I've had a better idea, mm. you see. The way we're doing our secret Santa is we don't know who we're giving it to. So no. it's not only a secret who it's from, it's who it's to. So yeah. it's all going to be a little bit of fun. Oh, Kira, she's not telling us which pattern she's going for. I can't cope with Maybe she's struggling to choose. She Maybe she one. is. We're not going to put you under that. No. Um, oh, avocado! Avocado! Hey! We've got it. Thanks, Kira. She said, avocado, please. <laughs> and like little pictures of avocado. I know oh, what. Perfect. Look, she was finding the avocado picture. And oh, that's what it is. It's, it's yeah. all the way down. 
Excellent. You did That's... well to find that and comment so quick. Yay, avocado. I think lots of people would go for avocado. <laughs> so yep. make sure you join us tomorrow, a little bit later than usual, at half past 11. An amazing prize, definitely worth tuning in for. Sorry to the lady who gives their child their snack when we go live at 11 o'clock. Snack time, little one, is going to be a little bit later tomorrow yeah. at half past 11. So join us tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Happy wrapping and happy travelling. Yeah, happy travelling. Have a lovely Tuesday. Bye. Bye.